Now that you know how, why you should be using EndNote if you watched the previous video clip, in this one we're going to look at finding a dissertation in ProQuest and bringing it into EndNote and all the pieces that are involved. We're going to log in and show you how to search, show you how to add the bibliographic information into EndNote, get the full text and add it to EndNote, and then finally always check the APA format before you quit. So let's go to the Andrews Library website, www.andrews.edu slash library. And when you get here, you want to go to list all databases. And it's thinking, here it comes. I think, here we go, yep. <laughs> and when you get there, click on dissertation abstracts, which is also the ProQuest and you'll see this and it will ask for your password and that's your Andrews account you should have that set up if not I think there's tutorials on the library webpage on getting that set up and then it comes up to this link you want to click on this link and now you are in ProQuest alright and since my topic is video conferencing I'm just going to put in video conference and I'm going to search I'm pretty sure that Andrew's library page has much more tutorials on how to search so if you need more information than just that please check there and now you'll see here's one of these articles I'm going to use this one right here that's on that's by Marilyn Sweeney alright so that is how to log in and search that's the first piece. Now what we want to do is get this bibliographic information for this article into EndNote. And let me show you how this works. So I'm um, here's my here's my list of articles. I'm going to mark this one. Generally you would mark quite a few at a time. I'm just going to do one. And then up at the top of the screen you will see this link that says export. This means we're taking the bibliographic information into some resource. In our case, it is EndNote. So these are the different tools that are out there. EndNote, again, is the one that's recommended by Andrews. And you can see it just brought up a window for a second. Now it's bringing up this window and it wants me to locate what file, what EndNote file does this go in. And I'm saying this is my VC Lit Review file. I want to select that. I'm going to double click it and it just did some other stuff. Now it has opened up EndNote. It opened up in another window. So let me show you here. And see I've got this imported references and here's my Sweeney dissertation with all of its information. Okay, so that is how to get it into EndNote. And it's just that easy. Now we want to download the full text and attach that in EndNote. So let's go back over to our Internet Explorer or your web browser. I'm going to do back to results. And here's my results again. Whoops. Let me move over so you can see this. And here's the full text. It's 7 meg. And it brings up this little window that says copyright notice. And I'm going to say, yep, I'm going to follow those rules. And it's thinking about it and what you can see now is here's ProQuest okay let me start at the top here's my browser here's ProQuest right here and then this part is actually my PDF reader Acrobat reader in right within my window and if I scroll over here you'll see here's the whole dissertation all its information and it's 155 pages so what I can do now is click the Save button and where do I want to put this? In my full text folder, of course. Here's my full text. And again, I have this system, so I want to follow my system. This one was Sweeney. <laughs> and I got to find the date. It's 19. <laughs> you know, let me look for it. Hang on. Let's go back over here. Oh, it's not going to let me. Okay, sometimes I add this afterwards, so we'll just put Sweeney, date, and I know this one is about constructivism because I've actually read this one already, and it was 155 pages. I'm adding that in there again so I can look at it later when I decide which ones I want to read, and then I'm going to save. 
All right, and sometimes that takes a little bit of time. So I'm just going to get out of here. Once you've done that, then it's saved in the place where you're, you're, you're keeping all your full text. And now you want to attach that to your record in EndNote so that you can get it very easily in the future. So let me go back to EndNote. Here I am in EndNote. And you can see this Sweeney one does not have a little paper clip yet. The paper clip tells you that you have the full text already. And let's see if I can remember how to do this. I always have to click around. And I've got to scroll this up so you can see it. OK, so I went to References, and then File Attachments, and then Attach File. And now I'm going to look in my Lit Review Full Text folder. And I'm going to actually get the good Sweeney one, because I have it down already. This one here, but you can see the one that I wrote just now is right here. Maybe I'll just take this one so you can see it. All right, so I find my file, then I click Open, and now, voila, there's a little paper clip. If I wanted to actually open this one, I can right-click. Whoops, you can't see that. I can right-click and open file. You can also get it open by clicking this open file on any reference that you're looking at. So that is how to get the full text attached to EndNote so you can easily get to it again in the future. So now I have the bibliographic information, I have the full text, and finally I want to double check my APA information. Now because I've been learning the new um, electronic references, there's a couple things I look for. One is did this number come in? If you t get something from the uh, ProQuest database, it has, to, it has to have this reference number. But it also has this long ugly URL and those are not supposed to be in there anymore. So if you double click on this reference, this is what it looks like when you open up a reference and you can do some different things in here. I usually put in a label while I'm in here. Let me just do this. This is research and it's about constructivism. And there's the abstract notes. All right, here's the URL. I don't want this URL in here, so I'm just going to cut it and paste it in research notes. So I still have it, but it doesn't show up in my APA list. And then I'm going to go down to the end here got to scroll up so you can see this. And this is where I need the name of the database. This is called the ProQuest Digital Dissertation. So that's its name. And then I just saved by doing Control S. And I like keystrokes, so I did Control W. And that gets me back to this. Now, here's my nice APA list. I've got the author, the date, the title, retrieved from ProQuest, and the number that's supposed to be on it. So what we did is we logged into ProQuest, we went and exported, we used the export feature in ProQuest to get the bibliographic information into EndNote, and we used the full text link in ProQuest and saved that down, added it to EndNote, and then we checked the, w the APA format.